Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and today we're asking the age old question, are chameleons afraid of snakes? Because we, from what I've seen, it looks like they are. So uh, please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell, you're not going to want to miss this one. So, uh, see you in a sec. Okay, so as you saw, yesterday we had our holiday um, super dwarf reticulated pythons come in. And sorry, I've just spotted an escapee. How are you gonna eat? What have you been doing? Mm. Go in there. Go on. There we go. Back to where I was. So we added our holiday snakes. And when we first put them in, it looked like the uh, Yemen chameleon was trying to get two to eat the one snake. Then I added the other one. So now we've got this one here, chilling out, living his life. He's asleep at the moment and he's hired. And then we've got this one here, who's out and about, all loosey goosey. And since I added this one, so I came in, didn't think anything of it, and the chameleon wasn't in this spot. So I'm thinking, where is Mr. Chameleon? He's down there. So I thought, what are you doing down there? So I opened it up, tried to give him some food, wasn't interested, and we picked him up, and we put him back up there, as we do, because I just thought he'd got a bit lost and confused. Then I've come in today, and he's right back there again. So my question is, the only thing that's changed is I've added the snakes. So, and he is at the furthest point he can be to get away from the snakes. So in my opinion, I think he's scared of the snakes and that's why he's trying to go over here away from the snakes. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna have to put some sort of uh, block up here, like some cardboard strips or something like that, just to block it off so he can't see the snakes. So I think that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get away from the snakes. If that doesn't work and he's still down there, I don't know what he's doing. But I think that he's scared of the snakes. I really do. So we're going to find out today, are chameleons scared of snakes? And if he is, once we put this block up, he should go back up to his spot. But if he doesn't, then he's just being weird and he's not scared of snakes but we shall find out we shall find out that is the plan today that is our mission to find out are chameleons scared of snakes no yes the only other times i've seen a chameleon come down that low and stay that low for ages and repeat it is when I've accidentally left a box of locusts next to him and didn't realise. And he's, and he's tried to go down and get to those locusts. That's the only time I've ever, ever seen them stay, come down and stay down for a long length of time. Over what, the rest of the time they come down, I've seen them come down to drink before, but they just go straight back up as soon as they see me. As soon as they see me, they want to go back up to the bushes. But he isn't doing anything, he's been, uh, he, He's gone back to it now, so we can try it again before we do the block thingy. So before we do our, I have to think of a proper word for it, a blind. Before we do the blind, um, I'm going to put him back up in that section and we're going to see if he goes back down there again. And then we know then 100% we've got it, he doesn't want to be in that area. So something's gone on differently in that area than normal. He's rubbing all his chin as well. What are you rubbing your chin for? Let's get him out and have a little look at him. I might switch cameras so we can get a better look. So what I've done, I've pulled the tank apart so I can get in there to put him back up. And then we're going to open this now. Come on, buddy. I want to have a, we need to have check over your mouth. Okay, let's have a look at your chin. Oh, I know, he's a big scary man, isn't he? Yeah, he's definitely done something to his chin. He's rubbed that skin off. 
You've rubbed your scales off, my friend. Yeah, he's rubbed those scales off. Why is he rubbing on the tank? So I'm going to put him back up where he's meant to be. Hang on, buddy. Stretch. There you go. Where are you going? I got you. I got you. You're okay. There you go. You go back up there. And we're going to go make a blind to block you from... Oops, sorry, mate. Not the, not the vine. From the snakes. And then hopefully that's going to chill you out a little bit and it's going to stop you going down to the ground. Because going down to the ground, away from the heat, is not a good idea, my friends. You'll get cold. Yes, you will, you'll get cold. So we're going to do that. We're going to do his dripper as well today. So uh, it's actually been knocked over when I did the light. Yeah, yeah she's run out, she's run out. So we're going to have to top that back up. That's another job we can do. So we leave him there, see if he stays there or he goes back down. So I've come in to check on him and we've caught him in mid-move. He's just on his way down. But I've just noticed because the way he's sat... I can see he looks like he's got a sperm sack still trapped in there. So we might have to, it's probably gonna be a tomorrow job. Really it's a two person job. We need someone to hold him and then I need to be able to pull on it because he twists himself up into weird contortions he does. So I'll, I'll show you what it is and how we would remove it. So it's hard to get it zoomed. He's doing what he's doing. Just in there, there's a little bit of Something sticking out. And just about see it. There you go, you can see it sticking out. That's what we need to pull on and get out. It's a sperm sack up, sperm plug. So again, he's already on the move. He's going to come down to this vine and then climb down that vine, I think. So he's on his way across already. Definitely because of them, I think. That's the only thing that's changed. Nothing else has changed. I mean, I've moved, I took the live food off and put it in the shed because it wasn't, I was getting a bit annoyed with it. Um, and then I've put these here. That's the only thing that's happened. So the only thing that's happened is I've put snakes there. Yeah, so he's definitely trying to do a runner. Definitely trying to do a runner. He's halfway around the tank now. So before he gets all the way down, we're going to cover this up now. We've got two options. So I've got a... Uh, background for a fish tank that we could put around there um, which is here which might be quite good because it would be uh, all leafy and stuff so we could put that round there it would be easier to do because obviously it's going to go around the bend quite easy we could do that or I could do it with um, with box I could cut the box up and do that I think this is going to be the easier option so what we're going to do we're going to put this up See if he comes back over to here where he normally should be once we put this on. So I'm going to get some tape and then um, we can put this up on there and hopefully he's going to stay where he should be meant to be. Well, not where he's meant to be, but where he usually likes to be in his basking spot. Okie dokie then. So this is definitely going to be our best option, I think. So we'll go probably all the way to the top just to make it easier for the tape. So, how much of a bend do we need? That's going to give us... Yeah, he won't be able to see anything if I do that. So it's going to be half on one side, half on the other. I think that's going to do as well. So I'll start this side first, but giving it a bit of tip. Okay. Put that a bit further around, just like so. I'm going to do the bottom one as well. The bottom one's going to go to the post and to that side ridge as well. There. Go for it. We got it. We got it. Okay. We got it. So we'll put that one down here like that. Lovely. That would probably do the job for us to be fair, but I'll wrap it round just so it looks a bit neater. Like so. We should just be able to bend it round. And do the top one. Oh, 
like so. And we'll just do that bottom one just to keep it in one place. And that will go right there like that. Okay, so what we'll see now, we'll give it a couple of minutes, half hour, maybe an hour, and we'll see if he goes back up to his usual basking spot or where he likes to chill all the time. Usually he's in one spot and he just stays there all day. So that is going to be the plan. Hopefully that's better for you, my friend. Yes, hope that's better for you. And then tomorrow we've got to try and get his um, sperm plug out. So sometimes when they get in the mood and uh, they don't have a female around, it can, they can get a little build up of it. So. Um, and most of the time they'll get it out themselves when they poo and stuff but sometimes they get a little bit stuck so there seems there's just a little tip sticking out so that's what I'll be pulling on but well, when we put it on it we usually hold it and let him just move away slowly and let that bring it out uh, or you just use the weight of your arms you don't pull you just use the weight just to slowly ease it out so that's good that's a two-person job that is we need someone to hold him probably Morgan first being held by Morgan, doesn't like me. Um, and then I will we'll pull out a sperm plug, hopefully in complete form. So let me know what you think in the comments. Is he afraid of the snakes, do you think? Do you think most chameleons are going to be afraid of snakes? Um, or do you think he's just being peculiar or something else? I don't know, because he was definitely trying to get out of the tank. 100% he was trying to get out of the tank because he was rubbing his chin because we saw that rub mark. Um, and he's only done that since I put the snakes in yesterday. So he, as soon as I put the snakes in, early yesterday morning, no, afternoon, early afternoon, then towards after like an hour he was down at the bottom uh i left him there for half hour because i just thought he was going to go back and then nothing didn't move didn't readjust himself or anything stayed in the exact same spot so i picked him up put him back in his basket spot where he likes to be i just thought he may have got a little bit confused a little bit lost in the tank because sometimes they do um but no this morning straight back in the exact same spot and then once we've put him back to his spot he's moving back over as well so very very peculiar behavior for him we don't usually see anything like that he's normally sat in one spot enjoying life basking in the uv and in his basking spot so from what i can see it seems to be he's afraid of the snakes but let me know what you think in the comments see what everybody else thinks okay it's time to go check on mr comedian it's your last chance now to guess whether he's up in his spot, is he in the middle or is he at the bottom? Is he scared of snakes? Is he not? This is the last chance now. So, ooh, he's at the top. He's at the top. So, what do we think? Do we think he's scared of the snakes? Or do we think he's just being funny? I think we'll find out properly in the next couple of days or something. If he goes back down there again, we know there's probably something else going on. But I think there's a possibility he could have been scared of the snakes. So there we go. Let me know what you think. Do you think the chameleons are scared of snakes? Um, or do you think something else is going on? Hmm. From what from the test we've done, he's staying up there now. So I think that well, he's actually chose to. No, we we put him back up there, didn't we? Yeah, we put him back up there. Uh, no, he was in the middle. He was in the middle, wasn't he? Yes, he was in the middle. First thing, I put him back up there. And then in the, he was in the middle. And then he's gone back there himself. That's right. That's what he's done. So, yeah. Fingers crossed. That'll be it now. And um, he'll be happy. Okay, then, everybody. That's all the time I've got for today. Let me know what you think. Do you think the chameleons are scared of snakes? Or is it just him being funny? Um, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Ring the bell for me if you haven't already. If you want to support me, there's links in the channel, or if you're on the computer, you can click join. Um, it's next to subscribe. Really, really does help support me and all the animals. You can become one of the legends of Snake On Exotics then as well, and you get put on the end of the video. Um, 
So if you want to see where I get my animals from, there's a link in the description as well. If you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, right at the top. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.